floating. <laughs> Alright, now it's working. Let me do it to that. Next. And done. Alright, here we go. Thought you guys might want to see the uh, opening. So it's made by Don't Nod, who I believe also did the Life is Strange series. I also wanted to show you guys this PSA. So, even if based on proven medical knowledge from 1918, vampire sometimes takes liberties when establishing possible links between scientific theories and supernatural creatures for theatrical purposes. In other words, do not try to cure any disease with any of the recipes shown in this video game. And no rats were harmed during the making of this game. The vampire team. I'm sorry, I just love that. Like, they have to tell you. They have to tell you not to do this at home. <laughs> Or else someone will do it at home and then get, like, smacked for it. <laughs> <That's pfft. laughs> Ugh. Yes, Twitch, I know I'm live. Alright, let's see. Oh, I have to do it on my phone. I can't play this in a windowed mode. It'd totally throw me off. Which, you know, I don't mind. Doing it on my phone, though. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's try to try to look at that from t you know forget it I'll just take it off the charger there I can see it all right so Swansea said I need to go to the cemetery to watch my sister be buried it's her fun funeral 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 I want to see if I could catch tippets again oh Thomas you sick I help Thomas is sick I help him good evening mr. Albert evening dr. Reed Evening. Don't have anything else for you. Soldier, do you need assistance? Not really. I think you caught something in this bloody hospital. I swear I'm dead. Yet smiling inside, Dr. Reed. He is very depressed. Give him medicine. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. There you go. Goodbye for now, Mr. Albert. Tears of disgust on every street corner. There we go. Alright, uh, let's see here. Harriet. Thelma. He's recovering. Pippa. Is that Rakesh? Oh, Rakesh is tired. You know, I need to go visit Rakesh. I haven't talked to Rakesh in a while. Hey, Tria! Yeah, man is not, he, he is not having a good time, especially since he's horribly disfigured from an accident. Let's I see. never thought I would have to attend to my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. But first, let's talk to Rakesh. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Uh... Medical Do checkup. Medical attention. I got tons of fatigue of medicine. Most healthy company, even if the quiet can be appreciated. Here you go. Don't take too many risks with your health, Mr. Tadaka. None of us are immune to this disease, and that is a good thing. Death and disease is a constant reminder of our mortality. But you have my thanks, Doctor Reed. I like him. I think he's pretty cool. You got anything for me? No. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Chidala. Alright, uh, before I go out and see my dead sister's funeral, let me look at this. Fatigue. 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 Migraine! <laughs> my god. I'll see if I can go find him, but... I need to track this. And I also want to do that, too. What's my level again? Oh, 13. I think I can actually... Whoops. I think I, I can actually do that now. Yeah, people are getting really tired. <laughs> Alright, let me... It's a good thing I have, like, a lot of fatigue medicine. Alright, Harvey. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening. Uh... No. No. Uh. 
check up. Really? Unfortunately, <laughs> you are not the only person who needs help. And complaining about it won't do you any good. Well, perhaps you're right, Dr. Reed. I'm sure if me missus was still alive, she wouldn't be happy with me going on like this. No, she wouldn't. Good! So I gave him his anemia medicine. Goodbye for now, Mr. Uh, Ackroyd. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Ackroyd, just shut up and take your medicine. Do you need my assistance? Don't be ridiculous. I'm capable of dealing with this myself. I've just not taken the time to do so. Hush, Ackroyd. I'm help. I'm being nice. Well, you are lucky that I have taken the time to do so. Consider it a gesture of solidarity between professionals. That's I wish this hospital could have received as much attention from you, Dr. Reed. We do not see you in surgery very often. Okay. Anything more I can... No. No more I can ask. Thank you for your Okay, uh... Thelma's healthy. Strickland is fine. Pippa Hawkins is fine. Thomas Elwood. There's Thelma again. Brannigan's fine. Mortar is fine. His mom is not. I need to give her some medicine. I forgot that his mom was not healthy. That's weird. The door was closed. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Uh. Let's see your checkup. Do you know? Despite yeah. what you think about this place, I can tell you with absolute certainty, taking this... I love his voice. Recover. Well, at least your reputation seems well-deserved. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for this hospital. Well, I'm glad you're taking your fatigue Goodbye, medicine. Doctor. I have so... I have fatigue medicine fa falling out of my pocket. Good evening, Mr. Gotham. Okay. Hey, can I talk to you about anything else? Oh! Your mother won't let you down. Your mother won't. Don't you share her hope for a better future? No. Oh. I don't. Won't you even try? Do you want me to promise you I'll get better? Do you want me to tell her the same thing? I could, but it would not change anything. Oh. Your wife in London? Never mind. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Don't waste your time with Can me. I talk to you? Good evening. Hit required. All right, no goodbye, more. She says good evening. I say goodbye. All right, so these guys are mainly recovering. Uh, uh I did it again. Just get on out of here. All right, here we go. Hooks. All right, Tippets is fine. Good evening. Though. Good evening. Do why are you so small? What happened? Uh. Do you need any more? Ah, shoot. I'll see. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, look, don't get upset, okay? I forgot. I didn't. I don't have enough. Where's a? Uh, there's Hawkins. I need to talk to her. Good evening. Good evening. I want to see if she has any more. Okay, no. Goodbye. Okay. Good evening. Do you have any? Oh, no, crap, crap. Tell me about vampires. Here we go. Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. Oh. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here in London? Yes, and it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. Ugh, so she saw a vampire and I guess it snapped her mind. Well, you know nothing, you're delusional. You could be in danger. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Halcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Str 
strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. That's personal, yeah. Linda, okay. Who are you? Is I'm Kmeris. Okay, no, nothing else. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your note. But the suffering continues. Here again. Simpletons, these nurses. Bred with no respect. Can I talk to you some more? It's not letting me talk to her. Oh well. Alright, what about you? Hello again. No. And no, okay. Goodbye, man. The fake priest there. Alright, uh. I wonder if I can make more fatigue medicine. So I get to heal up that guy. Let's go see if I can make more fatigue medicine. Oh god, I'm lagging. Okay. Up we go. Wrong way! I missed an actual interaction last time around. Where, um... What's his face? Tippets. Oh, hey! Swansea, let me ask you a couple questions. I need to talk. Please do. Here we go. Um, I missed an interaction with the Tippets a while back. I couldn't get to the eavesdrop point in time. So you manage a hospital financed by a vampire? Yes. Pembroke was founded by Lady Ashbury. She's also our largest donor. How convenient! A convenient yet expensive way to have a fresh supply of blood on hand, day and night, don't you think? All vampires drink blood by nature. Me, I praise the lady's exemplary moral fiber. Wow, you are such a zimp, simp for vampire if ladies. I may inquire, how did you meet her? Well, Jonathan, she sought me out and offered me the position. It's been a very profitable partnership for both parties. Okay. Vampire hunters. Do you know anything about the vampire hunters in the East End? Without a doubt, it's the guard of Prewen. Prewen. To the last man. Where do they come from? Where do they come from? Well, once they shared the Brotherhood's ideology on non-intervention. But they concluded vampires were a scourge. They are well organized. They're definitely well organized and equipped. They're extremely dangerous and not to be trifled with. To them, you're a feral beast, and I, your accomplice. Jeez. Okay, so you're a target too. Nurse Crane will not come back. <laughs> yeah, because in the last episode, uh, Deep Blue and I decided to just mem mesmerize her. I think it was Deep Blue and I, yeah, we decided to mesmerize her. And it had a really bad consequence. She went missing. Nurse Crane will not be returning. Oh, really? Something happened? She seems such a very capable woman. She blackmailed Lady Ashbury. She was blackmailing Lady Ashbury. Oh. Thought she was murdering patients as some sick upper-class game. Nurse Crane was playing a dangerous game. <sighs> She's lucky Lady Ashbury abhors violence. Okay. <laughs> we're just we're not going to talk about the fact that she actually legitimately witnessing <laughs> yeah I don't need medical professionals right now anyway well I didn't think I've never mesmerized a pillar she was a pillar in Whitechapel she's basically the leader I didn't know mesmerizing her would make her go missing I just thought it would stop her antics It wasn't a good decision, okay? It happens. Alright, so let me head over here. See if I can make some fatigue. I can't. Oh, I can't. Great. Make some more of that. Okay, I can only make one of that, but that's okay. Great. Alright. So I made that. 
Let me drop, drop. Okay, there we go. Hopefully this leads to the front of the hospital and I can give that uh, Hooks his um, medicine. There he is. Good evening, Hooks. Good evening, Doctor. Do you need any medical refresh? Here you go. Our job is easy. Uh, anything I can give you or ask you, no. Goodbye, man. Yeah, goodbye. Bye. Okay, uh... Yeah, I don't need medical professionals. Pfft. Okay, so let's go down to the wrong target, which is on the way to Whitechapel. So this will be fun. I think I'll be well equipped for this. I hope. Ish. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Just don't take that road. Do this nice. Um, I have not seen any gameplay for Loop Hero, but I I have heard of it. I just haven't seen any gameplay of it, so I might just take a look at it later. I'll definitely check that out. I can do that too. Oh, ow! Shoot. So freaking rude. Alright, you know what? I'll kill him. Oh, someone's shooting me from behind. There you are. There we go. That was gorgeous. Excellent dodge and then s just latch on to him like that. Oh, there's a bad guy right over there. Let me just <laughs> turn around and go grab some things before I go over there. What we got here? Trigger parts. Shillings. Lovely. There's a skull over there, but he's like in the 30s level. I don't even know why he's there. He's just there. Uh, let me heal myself up a bit. Ah, oh, good. That was just what I needed. Hello, gentlemen. Dang, I'm just so strong. Yeah, he's just there to be scary, just hanging out, definitely. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. Aw oh, man, I should dodge. Woo! That was close. He was gonna stab me there. That was gonna be devastating to me. Hiya! Well, that was excellent. Perfect. Got anything here? No. Hmm, the door is open. But first, let's look through the trash. You can find useful things in the trash. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Alright, and I go. Ooh, nice. Also, something was shimmering. Oh, was this? Yep. Oh, was this too? Nice. I don't really use guns in this game. I like using my magic. But you know, you this is what's great about the games. You can use whatever you want, whatever fits your style. Large box of pills, okay. Shut your mouth. OK. 
god. Die, vermin, die! What is this? Second report about Pembroke, second of November, from Scott Lewis Cagney to Mr. Geoffrey McCollum. Obje uh, object Pembroke Hospital Survey Vampire Activity. Sir, having observed the first the Pembroke Hospital for two weeks now, and we can't confirm vampire activity there. First, we ha now have proof of the presence of a female leech inside the hospital. The beast is clever. She acts like a mental patient to hide her true, unholy condition. I personally sneaked inside the hospital and heard the creature warning about her need for blood since her body is decaying. But it gets worse. The administrator of the Pembroke Hospital is Dr. Swansea. According to her team le leader, Amanda Tilton, who died yesterday in a fight against a skull by the canal, he may be a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. If that's true, then there may be something big going on at Pembroke. Maybe even a nest of vampires? Protected by those bloody traitors of the stole? We don't know what to do, but we are convinced you better come quickly with reinforcements and heavy gear. Oof. What we got here? Yeah, yeah they're on to Thelma. They're going to kill Thelma. I need to save Thelma. Reassure Thelma. Oh, well, I kind of did just save her. I killed everybody here. I used prayer one stake. Okay. I killed everyone here and took the letter. Thelma is safe. Oh, hello. The Great Hunt, hail to our fallen comrades. This is it. The Great Hunt, hail to our fallen comrades. Hail to our fallen comrades. Hail to their bravery, for we prevailed. The guard prevailed, my brothers. We hunted them down, the enemies of mankind, hidden in the dark tunnels of our modern cities. We found them in their nests and dens, and they perished. We brought the fires of battle to the blackest pits. Never had such large-scale war been engaged by mortals among against immortals. Remember this victory, my brothers, for it seals and proves our methods. Never sleep, never surrender, never give up. Yes, my brothers, our method is good, and England is safer tonight thanks to you. Thanks to those of us bitten and killed by the enemy, or our trembling hand when they turned against us. Do not tremble, my brothers, do not doubt. I cry tonight for the fallen comrades. I cry for I am an old man who finally saw my goal accomplished as I live my last years on this earth. The guard of Prewin is only half a century old, and we have already accomplished much more than the traitors of St. Paul in half a millennium. This was our first great hunt. Let them leeches who survived our wrath remember we won't stop. From the Adversary by Kendall Stone, founder of the Guard of Prewin. Dang. They really don't like vampires. I wonder why. We're not that bad. Alright, so let me go back to Thelma. We're not that bad. Just casually walk back. There we go. Ah, box. Box pills, great. Shh. <laughs> Thelma is safe. She will not be killed by the guard of Prewin. Because I killed them. So yay. So I'm going to reassure Thelma. Thelma, Thelma, where is Thelma? Uh, Harvey, okay. She's on the other side of the hospital then. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, God. Pippa, there's Thelma. Good evening, Miss Halcrop. How are you tonight? Dear blood doctor, warm, rich, vibrant blood. About the men who were tracking you. I have you. made inquiries about the men <laughs> who were tracking you, Miss Halcrop. I did not expect to Yeah, there are some really sketchy ones in this game too. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding, it really was. It was a misunderstanding. It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. But they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, <laughs> I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear. Oh, that's awesome. There's a crow freaking yeah. out outside. I love crows. I think they're cool. Well, Thank you. I'm glad it's making a good ambiance for, you for the stream. Drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that prop 
position in mind. He's like, okay. Hmm. All right, nothing else. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. <laughs> All right, great, got that done. Uh, okay, then there's another. There's a couple more I can do here. The harder they fall, I want to find the cause of death. Okay, let's do that one. And that is going to be... Yeah, it's right behind the hospital. But where? Is it in the... the uh, what do you call it? The morgue? Also, why is it saying I have yet another waypoint on my map? Where is it? What is that? Event. An unknown event happened. Oh boy, I gotta go look at that, I guess. Gotta go see my problem. Alright. Let me make my way. Hey! About the use of garlic and wooden stakes. Dear brothers, I must now draw your attention to a very clear, important point. The use of garlic as a protection against vampires. Let's be crystal clear on the subject. Garlic will never protect you against those creatures. No matter how fresh, how strong, and how smelly, garlic is totally useless as a, de as a defense. I can never say enough how damaging that novel of Bram Stoker has been. <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> He's talking about the book Dracula. Nice. Yes, of course, population of Slavic countries place garlic clothes cloves and coffins. Yes, of course, inhabitants of Santorini Island hang garlic on their windows. There would be so much more to, so much to write about this place, and someday soon, I hope to go back to this island to further explore its occult tradition. But that is not to protect the living from the devil. It is to tell the dead that they are aware of their malevolence. It is a symbol, nothing more and nothing less. So don't throw garlic at me! So please, by all means, yes, wear garlic, show garlic, hang garlic, and tell the shadows that you are not afraid. But if you're looking for supernatural protection, you will have to search much deeper to the forgotten secrets of the occult tradition. For here is the truth, my fellow brothers. Garlic does not repel vampires, but all the fresh plants will hurt them. Really? It is as if their body cannot stand the presence of, of bot botanical elements. I have, been a I have seen an enraged vulp flee when attacked with a rose. Yes, a simple rose! I have witnessed a violent echin, echin fall down and beg for mercy when struck by a wooden stake. I don't know why it is so effective. I would give my left arm to find an answer to that mystery, but the truth remains nevertheless. Vampires are very sensitive to fresh herbs, plants, and woods. For facing the shadows, how and why by, uh, by Usher Tall Tree, Pr uh, Primate of St. Paul. Okay. So don't use garlic <laughs> because it does nothing! <laughs> Alright, seriously though, why facing ah no remove it says I have oh there it is it's like all the way up there how'd I come on how do I even get it all the way up there there we go Ugh. all right want to kill a vampire grow some mint <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> That was a scary sound. I think the amb uh, ambiance went a little, a little crazy over right there. Daily routine. Oh yes, I know you all are in pain, and I'm doing my best. Okay. I really, truly am. I'm just stealing the hospital supplies for my own, <laughs> for my own medicines. Okay, I, I think it is in here. This is my only guess. <sighs> oh, did everything refresh in here? I guess it did just a little bit.
Okay, yeah, it is down here. These guys will be so easy to kill. Here we go. I love using this club because it just destroys everything. It's great. Whoa! Nice. Just like that. Did you guys drop anything? No? God. Useless. Alright, uh... Yeah, I steal from the steal from the hospital that I cracked down. Uh, the nurse is stealing stuff. <laughs> Come on. Perfect. Kill the other one on the side too. That was excellent. I love doing that. I love using that spear and just having them impale two at the same time. It's it's just fantastic. Okay. Over here. Oh my god, I can see my reflection in the mirror. That scared me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here. I need to determine the cause of death. Here we go. Corner of the lips. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug over there. Ignore the skull screaming in the background. Open chest. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. It's reopened. Oh my god, are they stealing organs? Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Operated lungs. A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Okay. Chest hemorrhaging. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthesia. Yeah, I don't know how anyone gets their work done in this hospital. <laughs> patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. Oh, Tippett. What did you do? So Tippett screwed up. He totally messed up the surgery. Alright, I'm tired of hearing you scream in my ear. I'm gonna kill you now. Oh my god, I shattered everything around me when I did that. <laughs> Don't mind me as I face through bro Don't mind me as I face through broken bookcases. Thank you. Interrogate Tippets and interrogate Bran again. All right. Time for some interrogation. Or how to get out of this damn hospital. Ah, oh, this way, okay. Take that. Alright, Tippets and Bran again. You got some explaining to do. So, what I understood was he opened the guy's chest to do an operation. The operation failed after he sewed him back up. And after he set him back up, he started dying again, so he cut him back open and tried to fix it again, and then it killed him. Oh my god. <laughs> Tippett. What have you done, man? Okay, that's the wrong way. Oh, I went right back in. Ugh. He needed to do over, yeah. <laughs> Big time do over. Oh, they really. <sighs> Big time do over with a really bad consequence. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, even I know that was a bad cause. 
That was a bad thing to do. You're just saying, how does anyone get any work done? Well, they're obviously not getting that much work done. And also, this is the night shift. There's a day shift, too. With different doctors. I just don't see him because I sleep. <laughs> Alright, let's go through the right door this time. Get in there. Okay. Let's see here. Tibbets and Brennigan, I have questions. Here they are, they're right here. Hey, where were you two coming from at the same time? Oh, probably that tent. Good evening, Nurse Brennigan. Good evening, Doctor. Yeah, the, the today shift is pretty competent. I hope so. Your life in London? That's not what I wanted. Your personal questions. Tippett's medical error. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. Oh, you so... Could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct. Straight up, just said I cover Look for him, yeah. You, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? You took a risk, lady, or you did not have the right to understand what you did. Um. You took a risk. Perhaps you did it with the best intention. But you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? Come on, doctor. Why is she looking at me? Uh. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need Oof. Brannigan just kind of scared me there for a minute. Alright, where is Tippett's? Oh, Lady Ashbury's still here. Beatrice. Tippett's, there he is. Okay. Oh, okay. What happened there? I kind of just like staggered, <laughs> tripped. Good evening, Doctor Tippett. Doctor Reed, any good news to share? Um, uh, well. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. His name's Kokoran. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. Okay. The blunt truth. Nature of the mistake? What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Oh. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. Mm. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks, maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed the body. Oh man. I'll cover for you? Okay, I'll cover for you. I will cover for you, Dr. Tippett. By keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I I don't know what to say, actually. Wasn't really exactly it was a terrible accident. Done. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital. Considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. He does sound pretty old. He gave me a hundred shillings, though. Plan after your resignation? What will you do after your resignation? Do you have a plan? I always fancied visiting Cyprus. Such a beautiful island. I could buy a house there, by the sea. Read poetry and wait for death. Let's... There, there. It's a horrible... Is the investigation... Investigation is done, okay. Hey, Brannigan. Let's talk. And after I talk, I'm gonna steal the medicine out of that cabinet. Alright, never mind. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Jesus. Oh, it's... Awful. Okay. So got that one done. And I also... I want to do one more. And this is the missing ingredients. I need to reach the pharmacy. Which is where? Did it again. By the docks. Okay. I hope I can make that trip. The 
could both go out there for a smoke. I had no extraordinary thing there. Okay. I honestly don't blame them, but they both go out there for a, st a smoke. Alright. No, I actually didn't hear you. Wait, isn't that the thing of de being deaf? Oh my god, that was that was a horrible com comeback. Uh, I need I need a do over, please. Can I have a do over? Ooh, that looks cozy. There's a piano. I want to go in there. Wow, he didn't drop anything. Okay. Alright, this looks like the right way, and you cross the bridge. And there are people on the bridge. Oh, hey, 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 what we got over here? Don't worry, no one heard me. I hope not. Get some good stuff over here. <gasps> Trash can! I can live my dream as being a a trash panda. Oh, I could have stunned him. Hush! Why do you have to die so loudly? God. Gives me a migraine. <laughs> okay, uh... I'll click alongside this path. Walk quietly. Hi there! Carol Fu, I am at level 13. I just uh, mesmerized Do Dr. Crane. I'm supposed to be going to see my sister's funeral right now. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going to see my uh, the funeral of my sister. Oh my god. <laughs> that was great kiting. Uh, but I'm finishing up some side quests just to get my level up a little bit more and to get some more experience. I have to admit, though, that was some great dodging. It was amazing. <laughs> and the moving like that, yeah, moving like this in a game is so much fun. And it feels so satisfying. Alright, so back up here. Yeah, I think that's right. And then you just go around this corner. And... Yeah, got a lot before I attend a solemn occasion. Alright, dead inside... It's supposed to be like right around here. This is not it. Is it on the other side? Like, where is it? Is it down here? Hmm. I just have creatures screaming all around me as I try to find this location. Alright, maybe it's on the other side by the, uh, Screaming Skull. Yes, I hear you, I hear you. It might be on the other side. I should go in there, because that's probably close to it. Alright, so let me go this way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely bet it's this side. Oh hey! Do you see me? All right, let's do this. Oh my god. That was my I didn't even mean to hit that. Get off me. Get off me. That was my special and I didn't even mean to use it. Oh, you can use doubles of yourself, huh? Nice. That was actually really cool. 
Yes, let's fight! He really likes to blink. Come on. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. Come on. Come on! Oh, I love these fights. They're just so great. I got him. Oh, come on. You didn't even drop anything for me? That's garbage. Oh, well, it's fine. Whatever. I'll figure it out. Chemist. Something, something, store. Dr. Strickland's list. Okay. Ordered by Dr. Thoreau Strickland, Pembroke Hospital. List of substances and ingredients. Crema papaveris, medical opium, Ooh. sodium hypochlorite, potassium per permanganate. I use those! Opium is one of the main ingredients of Strickland's medication. Never a good move. Yeah. I love the fights in this game. And thank you, Carol. Thank you. But ooh, he's using opium. That ain't good. So let me head back. I'm the Flash! <laughs> okay, yeah. Then go around this way. Step over a dead body like it's no problem. Yeah. Oh boy! Opium! <laughs> cartoon character. Oh boy! Opium! <laughs> Alright, let's go see uh, Dr. Thoreau. <laughs> Since I have arrived at this hospital, I find all of you disappointing. Okay, uh, so he normally hangs out where the broken arm guy Harvey is. Oh, there he is. This is also the guy that was totally fine with the to testing or experimenting help? on his patients. Can I talk to you about anything else? No, okay. Your drug provider is gone. I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you brought. Opium. Sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. This dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? I don't think However, you should be a doctor anymore. If you need to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments. I may try to gather these substances, and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. I think he's a little crazy. Oh. About the secret tests you run? Yeah, let's talk about, about this. the secret tests you run. And if they can save people from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps. Oh no, he's a simp for me! <laughs> I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. Uh... Um... Um... Have my support, why not take a break? You can't be serious. Uh yeah, he's very naive. Uh why not take a break? Don't you think we have enough work already? Perhaps now is not the best time to be chasing shadows. Chasing shadows, really? It's funny those words coming from the only doctor here who has spent more time outside this hospital than in. I'm gonna smack those glasses right off your face. Ugh. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. 
You piss me off. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Oh, Perhaps God. An adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. Alright, one unit of sodium hypochlorite. Alright, let's see if I have enough. First of all, I have a lot. If not, I'll go buy some. Let's see. Uh, my home is this way. Here we go. Come on, room, room inside the the hospital up here. No one's looking. Okay. All right, one unit of sodium hypochlorite. Uh, medicines. All right, I got plenty of sodium hypochlorite. One unit of potassium. 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 It's made with possums. Okay, potassium per. Permagnet, I believe I have some of that still. If not, I can go buy some. Yeah, I have plenty of that. And then six units of ferrous tartrate. Ferrous tartrate. I have plenty of that. And formulate your medication. Where do I do that, though? That's, that's a question. Oh, wrong table? It's the wrong table? Oh, uh, okay. Is it... That's not it. Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just didn't follow the map. Thank you, Carol. Okay. Oh, come on. Seriously? I just made a hard decision. Ugh, okay. Read the medication to Thorough. Report Thorough to Dr. Ackroyd. I have the potential to have, like, Thero make a really great medicine, or Ackroyd be like, okay, hold up. And I kind of want to go to Ackroyd, because Thoreau, he scares me to death. He's been experimenting on people that m he says there might not have- would be- oh my god. Come on, remove that. There we go. He says he's been on exper uh, experimenting on the hopeless cases, and- Maybe they weren't so hopeless, you know. I just got. <sighs> I'll walk down there and figure it out. Uh... I might just report him to. Th or to Ackroyd. Where is that man? There he is. Ackroyd! I'm quite busy right I think now. he's a little over in, in over his head. Oh, Strickland's chance to cure the flu. Do you think Dr. Strickland has any chance of curing the Spanish flu by himself? His wish to cure the sick is not driven by pride, but by an idealistic view about our mission here. Honestly, I don't know what Yeah, he like he like Carol said, he's very naive. Yet you will not report his message. Strickland may be a rival, but I will not use dirty tricks or regulations to prove him wrong. We are doctors, not politicians. Yeah. Alright, let Thank me go talk to Thoreau then. Let's see what he says. Oh, he's like right over there. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. I can't get him to face me, ugh. Ackroyd will not report you. Did you know Dr. Ackroyd never reported your experimental research, despite the fact he doesn't agree with it? Really? I didn't suspect he knew about my work. I must confess I am surprised. Perhaps he thinks you should realize for yourself the danger of what you're doing. See how condescending he can be? My God, he I'm telling Ackroyd. 
Okay, that's it. I'm telling Ackroyd. I'm not. No. No. Just no. I'm quite busy, Rock. Here. I know that you're a busy man, but I could use your help and advice. The great Dr. Reed honors me with a request. What is it exactly? Dr. Strickland devised an experimental drug for the Spanish flu that he asked me to manufacture. You know what I Yeah, I'm going on Team Ackroyd. <laughs> That's exactly why I want you to keep the result, Doctor. I made sure it won't harm anyone, but I'd like you to take care of it. I see. Put it in my cabinet. I'll give you the key. I'll make sure no one uses this medication by mistake. I'll do that. Thank you for your help, Dr. Ackroyd. Thank you for your trust on the matter, Dr. Reed. I have a better respect for him now. Okay, still no hint required there. And I don't have anything else there. Okay. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Alright, so now I need to go put it... or oh, it's up top. Yeah, I, I hated Ackroyd for his snooty attitude uh, at first, but now I, I kind of see he makes some really good points. So it should be in here. Yay, I can loot everything! It's locked, all right. Damn it! Now that Dr. Ackroyd has been warned, he should make good use of it. Damn it! It's locked, all right. Give me a universal key! What we got here? Oh, Mortimer's medical file. Patient, Mortimer Goswick, male, age 23. He's the same age as me. Followed by Dr. Ackroyd. Status, convalescence. Date of admission, the 27th of October. Day of release to be determined. Uh, notes. The patient shows many signs of extreme fatigue and major sores on the throat, mouth, and tongue. But no sign of flu. Refuses to speak. Claims it is too painful. Needs rest and healing of throat mucus memory before any decision can be made considering his release. Interesting. So now I got more stuff on Mortimer. Anything else I could dig up dirt on it here? <laughs> okay, apparently not. So let's go talk to Mortimer. See, I'm never gonna go attend my sister's funeral. I got too much work that needs to be done here. She's dead, okay? Alright, uh, Mortimer should be over here. Yes. Let's see if Mortimer. Good evening, Mick. Will talk to me about some things. Okay, no. About your condition. Here we go. The medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. Yeah, twenty-three-year-old gay. Yay! Make me happy. Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. Plenty of patients here who need their attention. Okay. I'll see if I can talk to Ackroyd. He might have something I have to go tell now, me. Sir. But don't he is like to contact me. super depressed. Good evening. Do you have anything to say on the matter? Okay, no, I've got all that. Your son is not dying. I read your son's medical report, Beatrice. It's not the flu or anything life-threatening. What has you so worried? He was at death's door when he was brought here. I just want him to be better as soon as possible. He's not out of the woods yet, you know. He might need to stay here longer than expected. Take care of him then, Dr. Reed. People here only seem to focus on contagious patients. I worry my poor Mortimer will be neglected. My darling boy! <laughs> I'm awful. <laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Alright, well, I got that. Let me see if Ackroyd has anything else to say, though, if I can find him. Where'd he go? D does Harvey want to say anything else to me? That's my question. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, no. And no. Okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see. Alright, uh. There's. Hey, Strickland, about your medicine. Good Alright, he doesn't say anything else. Goodbye. Ackroyd! I'm quite busy, right? Okay. Nothing else. Thank right. you, 
Okay, now... Matt finished up all that, which is fantastic. Where is Oswald? He's somewhere in here. I just I need to go find him. I don't know where Oswald is. Uh, then, if I look here, there's an event in Whitechapel. An unknown event happened. I kind of want to go there. I want to see what's going on there. So... Let me look at here. Alright, go this way. So yeah, I mesmerized Dorothy Crane, and I had no idea it would totally screw me over. So, I'm just gonna see what I can do. Stab myself. Stab myself again. Whatever makes traveling faster. Mew. <gasps> it's so weird. I can hear people coughing. But I don't see the people. Is that way? They get me there faster. This is the death shortcut. Alright. Oh, this is where I saw the guy shoot the guy. Hey ya. Go. The wet boots will be proud of me. Hey yeah. How are you? I'm not your Any news about Nurse Crane's dispensary? It was a wonderful idea. Thank you very much. Hint required, hint required. Life in London, hint required, okay. Uh do you need us? I'm alright, but Alright, he's fine. Goodbye, young man. Okay, he is healthy. Oh, yeah, neuralgia. I got you, I got you for this. I got neuralgia medicine. <laughs> I was finally able to make it. You don't so I can through war and destroy me. Okay, uh nurse crane. Not recently. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. A gun. And the nicely dressed lady has a cold. Good evening. Uh, here you go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> you look. <laughs> here you go. Well, there you have it. Take this remedy, but be discreet. It may damage your business. You. You're welcome. Have you any news on Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It seems her dispensary isn't so busy nowadays. Good thing for the Swanborough cordial. Uh huh. I'd like to see. Yeah, what well you got? What else you got? Okay, so you just got that stuff. Um. Good evening. There's no questions. Nothing there. Life in London. Nothing there. Okay. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Yeah, she is wearing a whole sunflower, and she is like probably the most fashionably, fashionably dressed. Oh, Darius is still in his house. As long as you have the money. Oh no, here's Darius. Darius. Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. Are you living on the streets? Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. Why are you so aggressive? Why are you so aggressive? I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to punch you right on your chops. What about, what your, about house? your house? My house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. Oops! <laughs> what do you plan to do now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Dorothea's death. The strange weapons and... She didn't die though! She went missing! What kind 
I I mesmerized her. All Romanian children know. It was as if I was home again. Farm fires, Mr. Doctor. So yeah, the guard of Pruin actually stormed her uh little dispensary she was working in and killed all the sick people there right after I mesmerized her. It was awful. You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yeah. Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, maybe I have found myself another cause. Maybe I should just kill you. <laughs> uh, your life in London. <laughs> How do you feel about Nurse Crane? I heard what happened to Nurse Crane. How do you feel? I didn't kill her though. I just told her to stop and she just disappeared. Dorothea helped people and will be sorely missed. I'm sorry. She had it coming. She was a good nurse. I regret it too. I wish she'd continued working at the Pembroke Hospital. She was a good nurse. So you put an end to the operation. Did you put an end to Dorothea as well? You seem to have a lot on your chest, sir. What's wrong? I heard you are a famous surgeon. Tell me, what did you do to Dorothea? I didn't kill her. She was so bright, so clever. Then you made her an empty shell. Oh. I didn't use drugs or medical trickery, Mr. Petrescu. All I did was talk to Nurse Crane. I promise you. But what happened to her then? After you left, she did not even uh. recognize me. Uh. Then she got careless and sick, and I had to flee. I mean, like, I just, I thought the mesmerized thing was just going to tell her to stop doing that. I didn't know it was going to turn her into a freaking shell. Tell me everything you know I'm new to the vampire you. thing, okay? Almost convinced Camelia oh my God. was an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Won't let me do any more about Camelia. I wonder if that's a glitch. <laughs> Shao Shun, stop looting the dead. God, woman, what's wrong with you? All right, let me look here. All right, so if I go up here. Then go down he no, 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 no. Go, uh, go here. Mouse sensitivity is pretty high up. Uh, turn here. Ah, this is... This is where she di- uh, she didn't die. I mesmerized her. Okay. Oh, crap! I really like that move. Oh! I think she turned into a skull! Ah, oh, freaking... I hear her screaming upstairs. Oh god. I seriously do think I accidentally turned her into a skull. Oh my god. Did I really? I did! I turned her into a skull! It is her! And she's level 24! Wow! Whoa! What did she do? 
you. This game really, really has a great way of coming back to bite you in the butt. Dear God. Where the hell did you place me? Just outside of Whitechapel. Okay, I will go back there when I'm a little bit stronger. Uh, I'm actually going to go rest at this hideout over here, and then I'll make my way to the Eye of the Tomb. I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Holy. Yeah, she's level 24. Alright, when I get to like level 20, I'll go back and try to kill her. Because obviously, she might have something very nice, nice to uh, loot off her body. But oh my god, I turned her into a skull! I didn't... I didn't mean to. No, no wonder he left. Oh my god. Yeah, I really did put him into perspective. Wow. Holy cow. I'm, I'm stunned right now. I am so stunned. In my first run of the game, when I was playing it, I never even finished it. In the first run, I had killed her because I was trying to do an evil route. But I never went back to the dispensary. I mesmerized her because that was like a whole new thing I hadn't seen before. And it turned her to a skull. I'm just floored. I'm like mind blown right now. Let me just... Mm. Lovely. Where's the bed? Here it is. It's up here. Oops, wrong one. There we go. I didn't know mesmerizing turns him into a, a skull. Alright, let's sit and let's level up. Look at my creepy eyes. Love it. Okay. I could learn these other things, but... Level 2, level 2, level 2, level 2, level 2, level 1. Let's see if I can get this up a little bit. Great. cartridge bag. Okay. I honestly really like what I'm using. I want to save up a little bit more and get the get these a little higher. Definitely, but I'm going to go ahead and beef up. Oh, I need 600 for that. Okay. All right, I'm going to save up my experience. No, I don't want to cancel all my modifications. Just so, like, whoa. Oh, now she's sick. Okay. Hey, I do what I can. Bruce Renew their cot. Okay. Okay. No biggie. And how are we looking here at the hospital? Alright, they're still unstable. She's sick. I need to find these guys. I don't know where they are. Oh! She got mad from it and got sick? That makes it so much worse! <gasps> oh! <laughs> this game really makes it... <sighs> really makes me feel bad. <laughs> <gasps> ah. Okay. Oh, I don't want that. Okay, let me get out of here. Makes it so, so much worse. Alright, well, I'm gonna head to the cemetery to get that done. And then I'll see if I can go back and find Oswald and the other guy and try. Try to get them some medicine. And I'll do some shopping and get some medicine from that. Wee! Alright. Let's get.
get out of here. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I, c I could cut through here. Can I fast travel? I wish I could fast travel. I can't, though. Alright, I'll go there. No, thank you. Hey. You don't look so good. Good evening, Doc. Uh. Do you need us? That would be. There you go. You thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Doc. I pressed the wrong one again. All right. Let the games begin. You guys are really on edge. I stabbed them both at the same time. I love it when I do that. Oh, I love it when I do that. I just love it. Where? Huh? You missed there, buddy. Oh, darn it. Oh, I'm out of blood. Give me your blood. There we go. I feel like I'm really overpowered for my level. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Alright, straight ahead. Hi guys. I did not drink from anybody yet. I'm biding my time. I know I'm probably gonna need two soon, but like I said, biding my time. All right, uh, so I can cut through the cemetery, I think. Yeah, cut through the cemetery and go from there. Just a calm walk through the cemetery. Avery, I leave you to care for my mother. I'm in no state to comfort her. Or not. Oh, can I not cut through here? It's gonna be garbage if I can't. <sighs> Alright, if I can't cut through there, I'll go around the long way then. <sighs> Again, wish there was a fast travel. Go around the other way. Cut through, go back down, go back up. Eee. I 
let's not go that way. <laughs> Cut through town. Might go buy some medicine. Maybe I'll just probably just buy it at the hospital. Oh, okay. Um, I already have the formula for headaches, but thank you. Um, I already I've unlocked all of the formulas. Um, but thank you. I, he'll probably have something else for me. I'll go back to that at another point and get that. Yes. Okay. Oh, can't move there for a minute. Ignore the screaming skull. All right, so then I go this way. Looks like I go up through here. Yes. Yum yum yum. This is despicable. <laughs> oh hey, a body. Good shillings. Mm, I almost ran right into him. Come on. It's good about Buzz, I can regain stamina. Alright, seriously, you were aiming for him? Ow! Good. Safe. Whee. I don't know where this goes. I was just following it. Alright, it goes to that end there. I don't want really to go over there just yet. Like I said, I'm just trying to get to this spot right here. how the, this changes. It changes the target based on where I move my mouse. And I really wish it didn't sometimes. Oh, chill. There we go. Did you guys just not see me murder this guy over here? Okay. What gave that away? Nice. 
place. Okay. So go up here. Fill with a trash can. Oh, this. Dear sister, I don't know if I have the strength. Okay. I've already pretty much scoured this entire sanitary. Yeah, the cemetery is really cool. I like the cemetery. Seriously, you're gonna make me go over the one that's all the way over there? Oh, there's two of them. Ah! Get off of me! Dude! Oh, I missed. Oh well, it's fine. Drop anything for me? No. Sure, I'll take your nasty grease. Did I miss a way to get up over here? Ah, yeah, okay. I gotta go. Ooh, hold up. There we go. Gotta go over here. Yep, and then go over to the left here. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. F for Mary, yeah, and more ways than one. God awful I remember. These are the legal requirements for the epidemic. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. What a good butler. Why do I have to have the scary eyes? <laughs> oh, Mary. What have I done? If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan. Ah. There is nothing you can do but accept it. It's Lady Ashbury. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. Hmm, she was kindness incarnate. Sounds like a bad joke, I feel like a hypocrite. She was kindness incarnate. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Echo. 
a newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered. And... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. Hmm. How can I tell me how I'm learning every night? Um. Uh, I'll do this one. I'm learning. Every night is a new lesson. What I am. What I must do to survive. But my sister. She shouldn't have suffered because of my weakness. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies. Feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve. And the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Hmm. Marley just, uh, I'll follow your advice. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good. But be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Guess I'm going to church. Okay. Oh, you're gonna make me go back around. Of course you are. I have this. Uh, yeah, I've already blood. looted that body, it turns out. Yeah, how how bad could church be? Obviously can't be that bad. Am I going the right way? Yes. I always gotta make sure. Ugh. Uh, I have to go to that church where that psychotic priest is. I'm gonna kill that priest one day. He annoys me. To no end. Oh. And off to church he goes. A newborn seeking divine consent. Who is this? From the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn. You reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your Whoa. Skin. Forget your old you are self. big. What do you want from me? You are really big. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon. <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn. Oh, you big boy! I shall return. Big boy. <laughs> big boy, oh. Immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. That's a big old boy. Okay, let me go down. That was a big old boy. Won't want to be on the receiving end of those fists. Okay. Then I go up. There's even a little arrow, it tells me. Let me in! <laughs> let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Oh, hi. Yes. What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite Uh, ignore my eyes. From a few yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. Oh. 
Riker Joseph Larrabee. You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any news to you, my son. This is a personal matter. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chaplain. For I can be as silent as stone. That is true. Any priests in the Catholic, especially Catholic priests, when doing confessionals, I, I grew up Catholic, um, when you do a confession to them, they are sworn by their oath to never tell anybody uh, what they confessed. They, that even goes for like a police investigation. They cannot tell a single soul uh, what they have heard through a confessional. Uh, otherwise, they are basically condemned. They are excommunicado from the church. They're just gone. It's like it's one of their sacred laws. It's very, very interesting. I love learning about this, about priests and um, their their laws and oaths, just because I find it fascinating. But yeah, that's it's like a big deal. You cannot, as a priest, you have to be a good listener and you gotta keep those secrets, whatever your uh, people say. It's like confidentiality. Almost like keeping uh, your therapist, if you have a therapist, keeping what they s you say to them um, a secret. They don't tell anybody else about it. Uh, I have word. I have words for one departed. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain. Yes, yeah, same with doctors. Again. Doctors do that too. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? Uh, I'm not going to give him too much information. Just know Just I care. Just know I have cared for her. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was murdered. It was an accident. She was, she was murdered. I'll say she was murdered. She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? Please forgive me. I killed you. There's no excuse. Or not. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son. Okay. And your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have Oh, loading screen there for a minute. I guess I made it very upset. <laughs> All right, Whatever uh, happened on this docket between my sister and I? It, it does, does not, not concern God. God. Okay. Uh, I want to see if there's. Oh, there's nothing in Whitechapel that you do. Okay. Uh, Clayton, Christina. Hey, Christina. Alright, so let's... Yeah, this Vicaro would make an excellent therapist. Priests sometimes in their own way are, are therapists. They give good uh, advice. And some of them are very nice. I knew one guy, uh, one priest, who was very nice to me. And I hope he's okay. He lived uh, at the old place I used to live at. Aw, oh, great. I am going to kill you first. I am sick and tired of you. Oh my god. So sick and tired of these people. Oh, 
But yeah, priests make really good therapists, so I knew a really good one back at the old place I lived at, and I hope he's doing well. He was very nice. There he goes, down the stairs! <laughs> Ew, I hear, I hear a skull down there. Yucky. And there we go. Okay. Let me kill whatever's down here. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. No big deal. Oh, I meant to stun him. Oh, well, it's fine. This will work. Ow! Off! 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 <gasps> Whoa! Where'd you come from? Like, holy cow! No, seriously, where'd you come from? Oh my god, that... Werewolf count, nowhere! Ow! Seriously? Aw, oh, crap. Alright, down! Oh, wow, we, we blinked at the same time. That was crazy. Come on. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, man, I didn't kill him. Oh, well. Ah! It's fine. Seriously, there's another skull right there. Come on, give me a break. He's, like, right there. Holy cow. Oh yeah, the the priest in the white chapel, he freaks me out. I haven't unlocked all of his hints yet, but I will eventually. <laughs> eventually. We'll see. Please move. I, I killed his disciple already who had turned into a uh, skull. Go see Dr. Swansea. Get that guy out of here. Uh, more of you guys. That didn't help if I could just blink right through it. I call it blinking. Okay, ow! Really? Let's do this again. Ow, 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 ow! Come on. Heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. Uh, where? Ow, geek shot on the back. Okay. Then there's you. Right when it was getting good. Oh, it almost shut down for me. I hope you guys can hear me. Come on. Are right, you seeing me now? Uh, 
Okay, yep, it's working now. What on earth? Gosh. What was that all about? Alright, let me head back. Creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. Stop your riddles. Riddles and rhymes. You took my life. Now you insult my mind. Yeah, I know, and he looks awesome. I think he's really cool looking. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Okay, so he wants me to go up against another ancient? I've had enough of others making decisions for me. Pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. Let me make some medicine. Oh man, I can't make any more neurology medicine. I think I have a pretty good amount of <laughs> fatigue medicine, so I'm just gonna leave him alone. Alright, let's go see Edgar. Is he yelling at someone? Yes, he is. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. <gasps> yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember. Oh, he's the leader of the Guard of Prewin. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the Guard. Leave him, Jonathan. Beautiful blue eyes, though. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet clean. <laughs> I had the carpet clean. You're not making it messy. He's like, please, by all means. Sacred stone. This is very bad news. Bad news indeed. Someone just messaged me on Discord. I'm gonna see if it's anyone from the Discord. Oh, okay, no. We're good. Okay, there we go. I was hoping. Carol would come back, and which, uh, wh whichever viewers were also watching too. I hope they do come back. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead, and several missing. What? This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Uh, confidence must be restored. You cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order, and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. Oh! I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. That Harriet Jones was the gossip who was talking really mean about the other Very nurses. Well. She was I'll like help. awful. Jonathan, please, I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our 
more liberal tendencies here. It's Dalma. <laughs> and I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge. Wow. I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Ah. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. So, me realize priest what that I saved. Uh, I'll protect you. Rest assured, I will protect you. And your staff. McCullum the priest I saved the was infected. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Yeah, the sad saying the East End. I remember that. Well. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the dock. It was weird that he kept saying that he must return to his flock, you know. It's just odd, but I am going to level up again. Oh, excuse me. I want to level this stuff up. How much do I need? Whew, 2,000. Okay. I can do this, though, which would be fantastic. What does it evolve into? Blood barrier. Three hits absorbed or one hit absorbed. It explodes and deals damage to anyone nearby. Oh, okay. I would love to do that one. I'll do this. Nice. Get that defense up there. Us, I know I need to take care of people. All right, so I had pre-ordered this for the PS4, and when I did that, I was able to change my outfit because I got a special pre-order outfit. But I think that was the only outfit you could get here, which is too bad. Alright, well, I actually think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here just because Twitch looks like it's having problems and I don't want it to, like, freak out about that again. And uh, with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this stream. I hope you all have a wonderful night or day, whatever time zone it is for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Tomorrow it's Sonic Adventure 2, and then on Thursday we'll go back to Vampire. And with that, guys, have a wonderful night, and bye bye